Take a perfect picture, I'll be in it with you Smile into the lens, cause the flash will make it look okay Okay No, you wouldn't know the difference Staring at the image Says a million words, but the truth ain't even in the frame Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laifa. Thank you for stopping by here today. Today's video is a different kind of video. It's a bit laid back. Like I'm basically just sitting down on my bed right now. So this video might be a bit long. So grab a bottle of Coke, a glass of wine, a cup of coffee, whatever rocks your boat. Let's just because I'm basically going to be doing my makeup while just seeing you guys. So if you want to see how I achieve this look and if you want to know what's up, you want to get to know me a little better, keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the video. So I'm starting off with a bare face and I'm going to go on to do my brows but I'm not going to be doing it on camera because first of all, I can't talk on my brows and my brows take me for ever to do so i'm gonna do my brows off camera then i'll be right back i'm not gonna be mentioning the products i'll use because like i said this is a get ready with me video so but i'm gonna list all the products i use in the description box below i initially did a get to know me video and if you haven't seen that it's on my channel so please check that out so anyways i want to tell you guys my makeup journey how i went into makeup and all that so I've always had a passion for makeup, like I always have, but I never thought of it like in a professional sense. I just liked to see and my mom is a makeup freak, like my mom has always been a makeup person. So I guess you can see she was my first room model in the makeup world. I used to model back in the day and seeing as I'm dark skinned like it's not so easy for people to make me up and not only am I dark skinned, I don't have eyebrows. So just imagine the kind of makeup that people used to do on my face there, like it was it was awful. I used to be into pageantries too, so I think I might link some videos of pageantries that I did in the past so you guys can laugh a little. So yeah, that's why I decided to go and learn makeup. I kept telling my mom, you know then now, I didn't have money now. Depending on mom and dad, I kept begging my mom to pay for makeup training for me, and then she just surprised me one holiday when I came back from uni. I registered, registered me for a makeup course with an amazing woman. Like I'm really glad she was the first person I learned from. You know how it's one thing to know how to do makeup, and it's another thing for you to be able to impact that knowledge on someone else or to be willing to so yeah the person i learned from the very first person i learned from was amazing down to earth like she used that belly to teach me she gave me a very good foundation initially i signed up to do a personal training with her and then when i started learning it became so exciting and I didn't want to only make myself up, so I decided to upgrade to a professional class we have. Around that period, I used to do a lot of online makeup competitions, Bontrisha, MUD, a lot of competitions. Like, I was, any competition I was there, I had an extra year. Like, I, I failed one course. And had to repeat my final year worst year of my life in most schools if you fail one course they'll just wave it for you and then you can leave not this man though not this school i was at home for the first semester i was just at home depressed sad and then my mom god bless my mom my mom is amazing like she's just i'm so i'm so blessed to have my mom in my life she just saw how depressed and sad I was and then one day she just came home and because initially before that I I interviewed for a job at Inglot. I I was considering working at Inglot just to while away time 
before I finished school. And then my mom just came one day and surprised me, like she got a studio for me. Furnished it and everything. Oh god. That was my first official studio. Although I was only there for a year. I had to go for my youth service last year. So my youth service was in in Oweri. I know a lot of people said in my NYC video that I I I didn't even say a single good thing about camp and then later on I remembered something about camp that I, I didn't mention in that video and I really feel like I should mention it right now I met a lot of Hausa people in my youth service camp and that was my first time mixing up with people from Hausa and you guys Hausa people are caring they are so caring, so loving, my god. My impression of houses and Muslims in general is violence. Like when you think of Boko Haram and all the likes of them. So it was pretty strange to see that Hausa people are really caring. So it means that it's just this silly Boko Haram terrorist group of people that are just tarnishing their image because they are really amazing caring people, right? I really would love to make up a house and bride. Like I've never had a house and bride and that would be fun because they're really hospitable people. Very, very, very hospitable people. I was in a worry for one year and I finished my service year a few months ago. And I decided to really take this makeup thing seriously. I decided to come to Lagos, so I'm currently house hunting and office hunting but my my darling friend let me stay with her while I search for a house this is going to be my first time of staying in a busy place like Lagos I wonder how I'm going to get used to this life but god day there's always traffic my friend made me drive yesterday i'm so used to when i'm driving and i want to enter somewhere i'll just look at the guy and just smile and say please you might not be a gentleman and let me pass oh mm. <laughs> my god it's not the same thing here at all like i mean there's nothing like gentleman in lagos mm. moving to lagos is going to be a new beginning a new face in my life and I, I really can't wait to see what God has in store for me here in Lagos. Moving here wasn't so hard. It's not like I had a boyfriend at home to keep me back there. Your girl has been single for like almost two years now. A lot of people say, ah, oh, you're single because you're being picky. I'm actually not being picky. I just, I've gotten to a point where I don't want to play games. I'd rather just remain single than be in a relationship that's going nowhere. I don't see myself in the future with that person. So, what's the need to play games and waste my time and his time? So, right now, I'd rather just be single and wait for Baba God to send the one that is for me. A couple of days ago, I was invited for a YouTube event and that was like my first YouTube event. I actually planned on vlogging but my god I was so shy when I got there like I couldn't vlog like I really felt bad that I couldn't vlog like I would have really wanted to vlog the event but it was an amazing experience. The YouTube team came to Nigeria for the first time so it was it was a really big deal. Like, I was so happy to have been part of that. I met a lot of fellow Nigerian YouTubers. It was quite an experience. Like I was really happy that YouTube put up such a platform for all of us to come together. I met a lot of people. I met Sissi and me. Her speech was so inspiring. It just made me confident that I too can get there. I too can achieve that. I also got to meet I am Dodo who was actually a former schoolmate of mine. We went to the same secondary school, press school. A lot of people from that school are doing so well. Like it makes me so proud when I see other press school girls doing really well.
I'm going to take off this makeup as soon as I'm done with this video, shower and go to bed. So I'm not going to prime my face, I'm going to just move straight to foundation. So I forgot to mention, we just hit 7k subscribers. Like, I'm so happy. I know it might not seem a lot to some people, but it means the whole world to me. And the family is growing bigger with each day. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. In other news, two of my sisters just graduated from the university. Like, I'm so proud of them. Like, my mom is so excited. Like, <laughs> She tells any and everyone who gets this and how she has three graduates or five girls for those of you who don't know and I'm the first one. In conclusion to my makeup journey story, I'm having a master class, my very first master class. I'm having two in Lagos and in Abuja so if you're in Nigeria make plans to attend it. I would really love, like, I'm really looking forward to meeting everyone coming for the class. Like, I'm so excited. I'm going to be teaching makeup, gele. I'm going to be answering all of my frequently asked questions, how I do my YouTube videos, what products I use, what equipment I use, how I take my makeup pictures, for my Instagram, how I edit them, just come with all your questions. So guys, this, this picture of mine that was trending for the past few days, like it's the thumbnail of my previous video, the before and after picture. I've never had a picture of mine trend the way that picture trended, like it was everywhere, in vlogs, on Instagram so a lot of people just assumed I was the makeup artist they, they didn't know that I was also the model in the picture the picture was everywhere so in the picture I took my before picture with a ring light but I filmed the video with, it, with natural lighting and took the and took the after picture with natural lighting at about 6 30 pm so the lighting wasn't so great and there was no light but i had to take the picture so a lot of people were cussing me out saying i made the model uglier and darker blah 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 uh, the model was fine I use makeup to make the model look ugly. Like Nigerians have no chill. My god, like Nigerians are mean. <laughs> like I'm sure Nigerians are like the baba for cyber bullying. A lot of people had a lot to say about that look. That look was a different kind of look from what people are used to seeing me do, I guess. I, I've never done that kind of look. Me doing that look, I was going outside my comfort zone on that one. So a lot of people didn't like it. They didn't like the makeup look. And I, I guess everyone is entitled to their own opinions. Not everyone is going to like what I do. I understand constructive criticism, but this was not criticism. Like, I was being bullied. But you know what? They say that there's no such thing as bad publicity. Even though majority of the comments I got regarding that picture were negative comments, I got like over a thousand new followers. So, even though a lot of people didn't like it, it brought me new clients, it brought me new followers, it got me new subscribers here on YouTube too. So, I guess it was a blessing in disguise. I just feel like makeup is art, you know? You can't expect to see the same kind of looks all the time from a makeup artist. It's going to get boring, you know? So I was, I was going for a different kind of look, like a full and knee, 
Egyptian goddess. Like, I actually got my inspiration from the Julia's Place eyeshadow palette. You know, all those bronze goddess they have on the cover of their eyeshadow palettes. I'm not going to lie, I'm nervous, I'm scared, I don't know how Lagos is going to be for me, but I take it that it's a good thing I'm scared, like that fear is going to make me walk twice as hard. My makeup journey. So, like I said, the first person I learned from was Christabel Mikobal. I think that was around the time I started watching YouTube videos. Like, I used to watch tons of YouTube videos. I was obsessed with Beauty by JJ. Like, I I love her so much till today. Jackie Aina, who was makeup game on point then. So the fact that I got that basic knowledge first made it easier to kind of upgrade my makeup skills by watching these amazing YouTubers like YouTube was an academy for me I, I learned from so many different people then I, I used to look up to all these amazing YouTubers so it's not strange that I finally decided to join the YouTube community so after then, I'd gone for master classes with Judy of St. Ola, Anita Browse, Shumaya, Jojo's Touch. And makeup, with makeup, you have to keep improving yourself. You can't just say you've learned that one time and then you just stop there. You have to keep improving yourself. I remember my first master class was with Jide and it was 50k for two days. 50k for a two days makeup master class in 2014 was a big deal. <laughs> it, it took a lot of courage for me to pay such an amount for two days, but going in, going to the class, meeting Jide, it was money well spent. Like he was the first big he was the first big makeup artist i was meeting in nigeria that wasn't a snob or proud like he was so down to earth and taught us really well i just feel like that's how we should be but a lot of people are not like that especially us women my god like us women we have a lot of drama <laughs> i remember the very first big makeup artist I met that was a lady I remember going up to her so excited to meet her in person you need to see the cold response she gave me oh my god my friend laughed at me it really pisses me off when people are like super proud because they've been blessed with this talent you see them so proud I mean, this talent was given to us by God, so the way I see it, it's not ours. It's God's talent that was given to us, so we should be, we should see this talent as not ours, but a gift from God that should be carried out to God's glory, not our glory. So why, why the hell are you proud? What's, why are you proud? Oh God, it pisses me off when I meet people like that. I, I tend to stay away from people that are proud it's a big pet peeve of mine like I can't stand proud arrogant people makeup is really a form of therapy like before I started filming this video I wasn't feeling so happy so I'm alone with no one to just do it and I just said let me film a video let me just film my YouTube family but 
I feel so much better. Makeup na witch. <laughs> According to a lot of Nigerian men. Like, a lot of Nigerian men despise makeup with a passion. You see articles that will tell you, oh, this man divorced his wife. On the wedding night, it so her for the first time without makeup on, that he was deceived, blah, blah, blah. How is it possible that you are, you are marrying someone and like you've never seen her without makeup on? Like, I don't even feel sorry for such people because they brought it upon themselves. It means you didn't even get to know the person that you're getting married to. That's sad. And no one's fault but yours. much the end of this video if you guys like this sort of videos please let me know in the comment section down below and if you're not subscribed already please do subscribe to my channel and if you're in Lagos if you're in Abuja make sure to sign up for my masterclass I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video bye guys